Today, I'm going to be breaking down Away by Davido, where, as usual, I'm going to be talking you through the various elements that I'm picking up on as we go through it. Okay, you know the sketch, headphones on, let's get into some new music. Shake this! So let's stop it there because we have leaked over into the chorus. So as usual, let's cover off the intro and the first verse. Okay, so as usual, let's kick off with the intro. So it's eight bars long, so it's about average for an intro. We've got some nice pianos in there. Now that's providing the melody, but it's also doing a really good job of actually um, kind of setting the tone and the feel of the track pretty much from the get-go. We go over into the second half of the intro and this is where things start to pick up a little bit. So we get some core percussions in there. We also get some vocals in there which give us a glimpse of the actual chorus because some of those are the chorus lines. They've got some effects being applied to those vocals which are pretty obvious uh, in the track. And on top of that, we also get this kind of long cymbal transition, right? It starts quite early on in that second part of the intro, but that transition is what helps us shift from the intro over into that first verse. Now let's talk about the first verse. So the first thing, and it's the most obvious there, is that the drums come into the mix, the rest of the drums. We also have what seems like these deep underlying synth keys. And what's interesting about those is that they seem to expand or they seem to get lighter the longer that they're pressed down. So if you pay attention, when they first come in, they're really deep. But then the longer they're in the mix for, they begin to just expand and become lighter. Now, on top of that, we also have some pianos. They come into the mix very momentarily just to kind of pepper that verse slightly. But then we get into the second half and this is where things really kick off. Now, there is a lot going on in this second half, so I'm not going to pick out everything but for example we get some guitars brought into the mix we get the synth bass brought into the mix but also pay attention to what's going on vocally in the second half this is where Davido really begins to project his voice and we also begin to hear some additional layers being applied to some of those back end phrases now there are other things going on but like I say I'm not going to pick them all out so yeah just sit back listen try and pick out some of the other elements that are going on as well. That's it. Let's go back. Let's listen. Right, setting the tone with those pianos. Shake it. Chorus vocals. There's that simple transition. I know they want to see me fall mm. But I they stop it, I know they fall mm. Pay attention Walk to those synth keys mm. If you don't know, make you ask a to go A to go Where do they body? I've been doing this in a day Okay, right, time to cover off the chorus. We have leaked over into the second verse. But yeah, like I say, let's cover off the chorus and then we can go and listen to that second verse and break that down 
also. Okay, so let's cover off this chorus quickly then. So the first thing that we notice is that we actually have some crisper snares being brought into the mix. Now, this isn't the first time that they've made an appearance on the track. They did get some airtime in the first verse, but they were only in there for a short period. So if you miss them, then you can easily be forgiven. And they're in the chorus, so you can hear them now. We also get the return of those deep synth keys that I was referencing um, when we were covering off the intro and the first verse. The guitars from the chorus, they're carried over, although they are slightly different in the chorus to the way that they were being played in the first verse. And then, of course, we have the vocals. Much more layering going on with the vocals, making them big within the chorus but also we have some vocal runs and some ad libs in there as well so let's go back and let's listen right chorus coming in they had vocals Okay, right, we're going to stop it there for the last time. So let's talk about the second verse. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and see the rest of the track out. Right, so let's talk about this second verse. Because what we notice first off is we seem to get the appearance of a bass for the first time in this track. Now, I say seems like because it does seem a little bit odd to me that they would leave it this late to bring the bass in. But having said that, the bass is so prominent within this second verse, I really can't imagine me missing it in other sections of the track, unless it was a different bass, maybe a little bit more softer, and just couldn't hear it because it was buried underneath all the other instruments. But either way, within this second verse, we definitely have the appearance of a bass nice and prominent within the mix. Now, another thing that we get within the track is a key change, which absolutely bangs, by the way. And listen, if you are an aspiring artist or producer, do not underestimate the power of a key change. It can significantly impact your track in a whole host of good ways and this is an example of how it's done now third and final thing that we notice here is that the verse gets stripped back that's nothing new because that tends to happen within verses but what i like about this is that we actually get some cheeky subtle elements being brought in like guitars pianos and what sounds like a flute and I say what sounds like because I can't be a hundred percent but it's definitely another sound that comes in but what's important here is that they're using them sparringly so they only come in every now and again and it's just a good way again to kind of season that second verse a little just to kind of keep things fresh and mix it up slightly so let's go back let's listen let's see the rest of the track out Right, that's coming in. <laughs> Base in there as well. Local runs.
this outro. Tune into the King of Songs and Blues. You can hear those pianos. Bangs, mate. Okay, that's it for me. If you want to see more breakdown and analysis videos, there'll be things popping up on the screen right now. Other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you in the next one.